This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. Company car benefits is the most popular benefiting kind that will appear in an exam. You can always guarantee that this will come up um, in an exam. So we're going to spend some time making sure that you understand all the various different rules. It could come up in the in the multiple choice questions in section um, A or B but it's more likely to come up in section C. So the assessable benefit of a each car is the list price times the CO2 emissions. That's the basic. Now the list price um, of the car is determined by the car, the price of the car when it was first registered together with any optional extras, not what they paid for it. Be careful. They may put in both prices. You're looking for first registered and not what they paid for it. Because sometimes if you're buying a fleet of cars, you'd get a discount. So be careful. Um, now, it is possible. I'm just going to put an underline there because this is it needs to be kept separate to make a capital contribution. Now, you only get relief for 5000 doesn't matter how much you pay. If you pay three, you get three. But if you pay seven, you only get five. Now, this capital contribution is towards the purchase of the car. So say, for example, they offer you um, a Mini 1. And they're going to pay 17, 18,000 pounds for it. But you'd like a Mini Cooper. So, but they're 25,000. Okay. If you want to pay a contribution towards this, that's the capital contributions towards buying the car not a contribution towards the benefiting kind. You've actually used your capital to buy that car. You'll get relief. The list price will be reduced by a maximum of 5,000. Pay more than that, you don't um, get any relief for it. And also, you don't get, the car belongs to the company and therefore it's entirely up to you. But that's the difference because there's a capital contribution and later in the questions, you'll see that there is a, a monthly or weekly or annual contribution towards the running costs which means or towards the benefiting kind which reduces the the calculation this is towards buying the car now the co2 emissions will be given to you in the exam never guess they are different from the capital allowances always check please there's nothing worse than getting an answer wrong because you didn't check the, the rates correctly. So the base level for CO2 emissions is 55 grams per kilometer. Um, up to that point, um, it's 15% times the list price. Anything above that, it goes up. Okay. And there is a 2% um, which applies to electric cars with zero uh, emissions. Hybrid cars, um, there's your electric range um, figures. They're in the rates. Check them. Use the figures. All you've got to do is copy them from there. Now, this is how we do it. This is how you calculate it. We're looking for the list price times the CO2 emissions. Now, if they are emissions are above 55 grams per kilometer, then it's 15% plus 1% for every five grams over that limit. Now, to calculate that additional percentage, you need to round down the emissions. So if the emissions are 122 grams, you round them down to 120. If they're 127 grams, you'd round them down to 125. So it's either a zero or a five that you round them down to. Because that number is then divided by five, which is why we, we need to round it to either a zero or a five. Now, there is a 4% supplement for diesel cars that do not meet that standard. Now, the maximum is 37. Now, that's a maximum maximum. It's not 37 plus four. It's 37, which includes that. Okay, it's 37. 
So the benefit itself can be um, reduced. So if it's not available for 30 days in, um, in a tax year, then you would reduce it accordingly. That, you, mm, that one you rarely get, this one you probably will, where you make a contribution. Now that's a different contribution than the capital contribution, so read the question carefully. That's normally a monthly, weekly, or maybe an annual contribution. If they've got more than one car, you do more than one benefit. Pool cars are cars that belong to the company and stay um, at the company at the end of the day. In other words, you've got to get home yourself. You've got to do that private use. The reason these benefit rules are here is because people take the car home and therefore they're using it privately. So home to office, as we looked at with the um, mileage, the approved mileage scheme, the 45B. Home to office is a private expense. You can't claim expenses for it. Same here. If you're taking the company car home and using it privately, going shopping, going on holiday, going to and from work, whatever your company allows you to use the car for, you're using it privately. Therefore, you have to have a benefit in kind to work out what the cash basis to quantify the value of that private use. Now, a pool car stays at the office and you have to find your own way home. So you don't pay tax on a pool car. Now, we have a large example here with one, two, three, four, five individuals in it. Names you might recognize if you are an F1 fan. So we're going to do each one individually, nice and slow. Make sure that you it covers all the different ranges that we've got. So Lewis was provided with a new diesel powered company car on the 6th of August 2022. The car has a list price of 13,500 and an official CO2 emissions rate of 122 grams per kilometer and the car meets the standard. So I just need a new empty page okay so let's have a look at Lewis Lewis provided with this new car in August 2022 now you'll notice that the emissions we need the list price times the percentage that's what we're aiming for now you'll notice that his percentage was 122 that needs to be rounded down to 120 then that's the first stage second stage 120 minus 55 which is the lower limit divided by 5 is 13 percent now that's added to the basic percent of 15 giving us 28 percent now that working is going to get you lots of marks show your workings please so the list price was 13,500 and we multiply that by the 28% that we did in our workings, working number one, working number one, which gives us 3,780. Now that's the annual benefit in kind. Okay. Now the 4% surcharge for diesel cars isn't applied because it says that it meets the standard in the question. But he only had it available for eight months. If you check the dates, you'll see that that's true. Therefore, his benefit, because you always work a benefit out on an annual basis, is eight twelfths of that figure, which is two five twenty. Let's look at Nico. Nico was provided with a new petrol powered company car throughout 22-23, so that's the annual figure. The motor car has a list price of 16,400 and CO2 emissions of 162 grams per kilometer. Let's have a look at how we would calculate Nico's benefit in kind. Again, we are looking for a list price. 
So the list price for Nico's car is 16,400 and we need a percentage to give us a benefit in kind. So while working, he has a CO2 emissions of 162. Keep checking the question. So we round that down to 160. So that's the first step. Second step, 160 minus 55 divided by 5. is 21. Add that to 15%. Gives us 36%. So if we then add that into there, that gives us a benefit of 5,904. Always show your workings. Let's look at the next Formula One driver. Fernando was provided with a new petrol-powered company car throughout 22-23 with a list price. CO2 emissions, 249. Now he paid them £1,200 during the year for the use of the car. Let's have a look at Fernando's situation then. We'll look at the model answer. Seeing as you're working your way through these now. So the CO2 emissions are above the base rate of 55 grams. So 245, because we rounded it down, minus 55 is 190 divided by 5, which is 38. Add it to the 15, and it gives us a massive 53%. Do you remember there was a maximum? 37% is the maximum you will ever pay. So if we multiply that by the list price, we get a benefit of 8,362, less the contribution that he pays, because it's towards the car, and therefore reduces the benefit. That's his benefit in kind. Jensen is provided with a hybrid electric car throughout the year. Always, always, always check the dates. Because they like to slip in dates that are in a funny order sometimes. List price of 16,000 with 38 grams per kilometre and an electric range of 110 miles. You're not expected to remember the percentages. Check the rates. Let's look at what the answer is for Jensen. So Jensen doesn't exceed 50 grams or okay, for his electric range car. So between 70 and 120, when we've checked, that's 5%. Okay, And that's 5% times the list price gives us a benefit in kind of 800. And the final one, Sebastian, provided with a new diesel car throughout the year with a list price official so that's going to be rounded down to 100 and it's going to be minus 55 and divided by 5 it's going to give us a percentage and then we're going to add 15 if you remember now it does not meet the co2 emissions the rde2 standard let's see what impact that has on the answer so again emissions over 55 round it down to 100 Divided by 5, 9% add to 15, gives us a total of 28 because we have to add in that 4% diesel supplement because it did not meet that standard. Now, 28%, so that's the 9% because he's over the limit, the 15% basic plus the 4% multiplied by the list price gives us a benefiting kind. 3,920.